This farming method saves me so much time. My production costs are less than half of what they used to be. I have more than doubled my yield, so using conservation agriculture is really something to boast about. In June 2011, Participatory Approaches for Integrated Development, or PAFID, was contracted by Conservation Farming Unit of Zambia to implement the Conservation Agriculture Regional Programme, or CARP, in nine counties of Kenya. CARP is a component of COMESA's Climate Change Mitigation Programme, which is supported by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Royal Norwegian Government. The PAFID CARP field team comprises of 18 field officers and four field supervisors and their activities are overseen by a field operations manager. PAFID's approach involves hands-on practical training of community-selected lead farmers who, after acquiring the necessary training, delivery and technical skills, then train and monitor the progress of at least 10 farmers each. Knowledge sharing between farmers is encouraged through sharing their experiences at field days, which are held regularly throughout the growing season. This hands-on approach allows farmers to readily appreciate the benefits and savings they can make by adopting conservation agriculture. All farmers who attend the training sessions do so out of a willingness to improve their livelihoods, as PAFID does not offer incentives in the form of free or subsidised seed, fertilisers or equipment. PAFID has worked to link farmers to reputable suppliers of inputs and this will be a major component of future programmes to ensure that farmers can maximise the benefits of adopting conservation agriculture. Here in Kenya, I work with the Meru County field team. Our initial training is for a core group of 10 lead farmers who are democratically selected by their communities. They, in turn, train another 10 farmers from their local community. Our training is entirely hands-on and field-based. Our farmers do not learn efficiently in classrooms. We only ask farmers to use resources that are readily available to them. For example, we use bottle tops and string to create the measuring ropes. You will see a biro is being used for measurement. A biro is 15 centimetres long, and we can use this to measure a variety of things, such as basin depth and length, and to make the measuring rope, so that the distance between basins can be precisely marked, and even the size of the farm can be measured, so that the farmers can accurately calculate the quantity of inputs they require. We set up demonstration plots and hold field days so that farmers from different areas can share knowledge and see the technology in action. Here you can see the importance of residue cover being demonstrated. We travel across Meru County to regularly visit our farmers and provide continuing support as they transition to conservation agriculture. <laughs> Now, conservation agriculture is quite, quite important in Meru County because uh, in the rural areas, most often we don't have reliable rainfall. It's quite erratic, poorly distributed, and with the climate variability which is with us, uh, we at, in most cases also have crop failure. So it is really a practice that we feel can go a long way to contribute to food security in this county and even in this country at large. And because if you see there is... We don't have enough rain. But still you can see the conservation agriculture crops are doing well, but the others will dry up. We used to get less than 10 bags per acre, but since we started using conservation agriculture, we never get less than 15. Before I would have to buy food, even though I was a farmer, now I get enough to eat and also sell. After just two harvests, we had paid a dowry for our son new seats for our house and a double bed. We have adopted this conservation agriculture because it is beneficial to us. It helps us to just hunt more food in our stores. The money can be used to buy books and even improve the infrastructure of the school. I can now pay for household expenses without relying on my husband's salary. I'm also saving to buy a car. It takes shorter time to wind the, the farm. They have been taking me four weeks, but currently, and I use less money 
because I'm using chemicals to weed. From the previous records, the production of the, the, the same plot has increased by, say, 40% from the previous. And the quality of crops actually has improved as well. This work gives me more money as it is quicker and much easier for my oxen to make replines compared with the normal way. Now we leave crop residue in the fields, fertility is returning to the soil. Conservation agriculture gives me time to work on other ways to improve on my economic status, herd my goats, care for my rabbits and chickens. We used to use so much energy to cultivate the whole farm. Now we do half the work when we dig conservation agriculture pencils. I am very happy with this farming method. If you are available to come and visit Melu County, please come to my farm and see how good our yields are. There are three basic principles to conservation agriculture. Zero to minimal soil disturbance. Maximizing soil cover by retaining crop residue. And the diversification of crops by rotating a balanced mix of crops. Conventional cultivation destroys soil structure, making it vulnerable to erosion and compaction. It depletes soil organic matter and destabilizes the soil ecosystem. Overall, ploughing causes soil compaction, resulting in the formation of a hard pan, which limits rainwater capture, prevents plant roots from accessing subsurface moisture, and increases runoff. In conservation agriculture, there are three methods to create permanent planting stations. Hoe, animal draft power or ADP, and tractor-drawn Ndumie Ripper. All three methods are precise and break the hard pan created by continuous overall cultivation. At 15 to 20 centimetres deep, the basins and rip lines break through the hard pan. Therefore, roots can access water stored in the soil profile and allow for in situ rainwater harvesting. The precision of the system allows for the correct application of fertiliser and seeds without adversely affecting the environment. Crop residue retention efficiently preserves soil moisture and moderates the force of rainwater, reducing runoff. Residue also regulates the soil surface temperature and protects the top layer of soil from wind erosion. Crop rotation increases biodiversity and allows cereal crops to benefit from nitrogen fixed by leguminous crops. Crop rotation also breaks pest and disease cycles associated with monocultures. Here we see conservation agriculture minimal tillage against conventional tractor ploughing, side by side. Cost of production is much reduced with CA methods, as it takes less time and uses less fuel. There is also reduced wear and tear on the tractor. This type of farming is hard work to begin with, but as you continue, you realise it is actually easier. Farmers can be skeptical about making effort to use precise measures. It is only when they see my high yields that they begin to realize that the method really works. The first season was difficult, breaking the hard pan and understanding how it all worked. I nearly gave up, but I thought that without hard work, I would not achieve anything, and so I worked hard, and I got something. My casual laborers have better working conditions, so I can retain staff long term. I used to get 10 bags per acre, but now I get 30 bags per acre. My life has completely changed. I have bought my own land and have money to educate my children at private school. This is the Gita Lead Farmers Combined Self-Hope Group. 
we decided to form this group linked to conservation agriculture. We have been saving each week, so we have money to lend to members in the future for inputs such as fertilizer, bags for storing, and labor costs. Conservation agriculture, generally, we may call it a modern way of farming. And as you know, many people, even young people, are, are embracing farming. The world is changing and we need to embrace this thing. Long time ago, people used to think that farming is a matter of having food and keeping it for sustain sustainability. But currently, people are doing business farming. People should embrace this type of agriculture because it brings some profit at the end of the day. There are so many things that you have to do in life. You got, you got to pay school fees for my children. I uh, was got to, to, to take uh, care of my family and the remaining uh, we take for leisure because you have to, to, to create time for yourself because you're not living here for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. PAFID is the preeminent implementer of conservation agriculture in Kenya. Over the past four years, PAFID have exposed over 80,000 farmers to conservation agriculture across nine counties out of whom we expect more than 20,000 to adopt conservation agriculture on at least a portion of their farms by the end of the programme. At the same time as training farmers in conservation agriculture, PAFID has also trained the farmers in the safe and effective use of herbicides. Farmers who have adopted conservation agriculture have benefited through reducing their cost of production, saving time on labour-intensive activities like hand weeding, allowing them to engage in other social or economic activities as well as increased and more consistent harvests. Having witnessed the benefits that conservation agriculture gives farmers, PAFID would like to extend the programme to farmers in the more marginal agroecological zones in eastern Kenya, whose production is extremely limited by low and erratic rainfall patterns. Conservation agriculture would help farmers in these areas to attain food security and to improve their economic and social status. Music